Very quickly how to ANOVA in Python, which will be really simple using the stats models module. So I'll be using Python as my ID. You can download Python from here, www.python.com. You can download also my ANOVA project, ANOVA underscore Python, from the following GitHub repo over here. So the idea of Python is that it allows me to put my code, my R or Python code, into uh, panels that I can connect. And it, it looks very good, especially for complex projects where we want to run lots of experiments and lots of uh, lots of different panels that have different code and it's hard to organize it visually. So Python is, is really great for that. So as you can see here, I, I have my data set. So this is a simple data set that has part status, conformity, F category, and F score. So what we want to do here is to model conformity in terms of the F category, which is a categorical variable and the partner status, which again is another categorical variable. So partner status has two levels, low and high, and if category has low, high, and medium. So this is as simple as putting everything into a data and to a pandas data frame. You can see that Python uh, automatically loads the data frames uh, where where they should be. Uh, you you can see them. You can see it here, and then it's just a matter of running everything, which I, I will show you how to do that in a minute. So before doing that, we can specify a model like this. So this um, multiplication means that we are considering also an interaction, meaning that we're considering an, uh, an individual effect of the F category. We're also considering an individual effect of the partner status, but then we're also considering the possibility that uh, the category and the partner status interact with each other. And the way we, we specify this is by doing this multiplication. On the other hand, if we have just used a plus symbol, like in here, you can see that I'm decomposing the um, effect of the conformity into F category and partner status. I don't have any interaction. In adding interaction in ANOVA is kind of complicated and it adds a lot of complexity, unfortunately, but in many cases, it's what we need to do. What we typically do here, we typically first add the interaction term, and then if the interaction term is non significant then we just throw it away and then go with a simpler model that doesn't have the interaction. That's the typical way. What happens here is that if you look at the p-value here, the p-value is, is 2.5%, meaning that it, it's smaller than the usual 5% that we, we use at the threshold, meaning that it is statistically different from zero. So we shouldn't be removing it. So if I had to choose, I, I would prefer this model against this one. So um, one thing, how do we run this in Python, by the way? So I can clean everything by pressing F8. And then the next thing is that if I press run below, means that this panel will run and then everything that's connected to the out that is using the variables and objects defined here will be running as well. So if I press red there, run below, there we go. There I have my results. Pretty easy, right? Which means that I can do nice experiments when I'm doing ANOVA. So I, I can have different panels with different models there and just try them all at the same time and see what happens. And then keep a record on what's going on with them. I can also add markers, by the way. So um, I could, for example, put here ANOVA with, with interaction and put it there and it will be there in my code and then if I click here I can navigate through my project by clicking there in ANOVA with interaction. The other thing I wanted to show you is that we can freeze uh, the, the results of the panels. So let's assume we're doing an experimentation here and this is ANOVA the type so we have three types for ANOVA sum of scores one two and three. Let's suppose we want to test type two and type three. So I will freeze the panel there that's uh, the results for type two. And then I can say, well, let's type type three. And then I click on run up to here. Run up to here will run the previous panel and this panel that are, but you see they're connected from out to in, right? So everything that was defined here is available here. Obviously the other panel won't get executed. So I will probably save some time there. So I click there next to run. I get my results. So you see, obviously, in the model change, we had with different results, uh, and that's really it. 
One uh, final thing that we can do here is that we can um, group things. So let's just say we want to say ANOVA models and we want to separate this. We can add something like this. And yeah, we can we can use these tools to organize our project better.